Hey guys, welcome back, it's the Cardis, and today I've got a new video for you, and this video is on my top 10 5 illusionist decks. So let's get into it, and let me get down to number 5. So in number 5 is a very nice deck by illusionist, and this is the Tally Ho Viper cards. Um, the reason I like this deck is because it's got a nice metallic uh, silver box, and I just like the feel and look of the deck, and the back of it is just a normal standard Tally Ho, but it's a They've changed it and edited it a little bit, and it's made from Illusionist, obviously. Let me just quickly show inside the deck. When you get in, it comes with like a black tiger kind of feel. But, uh, you can see that the royalty is silver, uh, and it's like a bit of reflective silver. It's, it's not just plain silver, and you can see it's a bit reflective. The pips are nice dark red, and they do go well with the uh, black background. The Ace of Spades and the Jokers. The Joker, you can see, are these standard, um, obviously, Tally Ho Jokers. It's just uh, these are the silver versions, and the Ace of Spades. I really enjoy this because it's just so cool. It's like it's like when you go on uh, um, Photoshop and do one of them effects on your phone or something, and it comes out like that, and it just looks really weird. The back of it uh, is just normal. Nothing wrong with it. The deck handles well. Lasts me long, and you can see it has a black border to go around. And this is different to the white version of this deck, and I really do enjoy it. Okay. Let me move on to the next deck. The next deck, uh, these will be quick, so if you do not like my reviews, please unsubscribe. Uh, I'll give you a clue like card tricks for everyone. Had a scope at me because he didn't like my reviews, and simple uh, for him is just to unsubscribe because I don't mind losing a couple of subscribers because you guys don't like my videos. The next one is the Shadow Masters. This is an amazing deck that I cannot get over. I love this deck so much. The, the design of it, you can see on the front, it has the Illusionist sign, poker. Uh, bicycle, all the faded, uh, this is a very old deck but a very good and old classic deck. On the side it has air cushion finish, this is an air cushion finish deck with a, um, a faded in the center. Everything else it has a little barcode revealed on the bottom and it comes with illusionist obviously. Inside the deck you can see you have a faded border so it goes into the cards and a faded in, um, in the center. It looks cool through the deck, the problem with this deck is it does um, have the paint does come off, or the colouring of this does come off when you do ripple shuffles and spreads. The cards themselves, you can see the jokers. Uh, wow, that's pretty cool. The jokers, you get two of them. One they're holding, and they're just a really cool skull joker. Really dark. The ace is one of the best. It's just a master's joker. Uh, it comes with bicycle masters. So these include this one. Fourth would be the master's decks. With an eagle in the centre. The pips, you can see it's red, and it fades into black, or a little bit of grey. The royalty is a very ghosty, dark feel, and I do enjoy that too. So that is uh, this part of the deck. That is that one. So the Masters will be coming in uh, fourth place. In third place, it's going to have to be the Arcanes. Uh, the reason for this is the Arcanes are just so lovely. I love the look of them. I've always liked the back design of the white version. Because, it, just look at it really, it talks for itself. The box, obviously, it's a very nice looking box. Looks like it kind of reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, <laughs> it, it's just a really nice looking box. And I do prefer the white to the gold, actually. Uh, you can see when you get the white, you get the faded um, and a really nice ghosty kind of feel where the paint and it's like fading away, like the sand is just taking it away. Uh, royalty cards, the red and that all sand out. The Jokers in... This pack is really awesome. You get like this little angel who's coming out of a cloud with uh, dark eyes, and I really like that too, right there. I'm not going into too much detail because it's a very detailed deck. The Ace of Spades just has like a pirate ship, and it's just like the front of the box, and I enjoy that the game actually kept to the theme, and this whole deck does suit well. The deck handles well, and it does fan well too. That's why I like this deck. So in third place would have to be the Arcanes. Now. In second place would have to be the Tigers. The reason I would choose the Tigers is because they've always lasted me a long time. You can see this box is all worn out, but the cards still fan. And they haven't got many uh, problems on the side. They've never had any problems. They ripple shuffle perfectly. I've never had a problem with these in my life, and I probably I hope that I won't have a problem with these. I just like that they do different versions where you can just have a whole deck that's completely white, when you can have another deck that's just completely just all different and it has an EA space and it's red and black and I really do enjoy that that's why I've got this and they handle like so good it's incredible better than the arcanes in my opinion but that's just me if you don't agree then you can make your own video response 
um, saying why, or you can do your own video response to this video and I'll accept it if it's got to do with this video, obviously, not something that's random like um, me stripping naked or some crap. Now, in first place is the basically the Ghost, because this is one of my favourite decks that I use and I'm going to start using a little bit more on Mr. Dream Magic. The reason I like this deck is because it's so cool. The Jokers in this are amazing. When you have the reveal of the guy, when there's a card under his foot, I just enjoy that. Now, the Black Ghost, I don't enjoy much as the White, but that's just because I don't really think that they should have done a White uh, so, uh, thing behind it. And this one hasn't been uh, working very well for me because I've had this for like for three years, this one, and it's kind of all clumping now, and obviously I can't even riffle shuffle this one. But this one, on the other hand, comes in a really nice box, looks great, and the cards still handle great. And that's why I choose it for number one, because of the design, the look, and the feel of this deck, and because of the price. It's not too much, but it's just right. So that's why I'm going to choose the Ghosts as my number one. If you have any dis, uh, if you have any, if you would like to disagree on any of my uh, opinions, please go ahead. But I just want to say that um, this is my choices. So if you don't like them, then I can't do much about that because we all have different opinions. Obviously, if you do not like my channel, there's one very simple step, and that is to just unsubscribe. Uh, you're one subscriber. I don't need you if you don't like my videos. Like Kartrix, everyone. If you don't like my videos, go away. It's that simple. Thanks everyone that's watched my videos. Whoopsie daisy. I hope you have a great day. See you guys next time. Request anything in the description. Goodbye. Happy 1st of December, 5th of December, whatever, 6th of December we're on today. But just have a nice Christmas and I wish you a good life. If I don't come back. But I will come back. See you guys soon. Love you. Goodbye.